Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I'm going to be looking into is something a little bit different. Today's video is going to be focused on a more abstract concept in No Man's Sky, one that seems to be fairly popular at the moment in the community, and that's the old colour scheme we lost with recent updates. Today, I want to look into how the general aesthetic and vibe of No Man's Sky has changed over the course of its life cycle and more importantly why we need that old feeling and look of No Man's Sky back in the future. So without further ado please do sit back and relax Let's get started. So the most logical place to start when talking about this topic is the history of No Man's Sky's visual representation and how the look of the game has changed since August of 2016, but also since the game was first shown to us. Ever since No Man's Sky was first announced to us way back in 2014, the game had a very particular look and feel, one that can only be described as soft, colourful and alien. The very first trailer for No Man's Sky, the infamous fake gameplay trailer, is where our story begins. This footage for many of us in the community is what we wish No Man's Sky looked like. Whether it be the dense foliage, the advanced behaviour or the colour scheme, this trailer is sadly famous in the gaming world for being a far cry from the received product. But what we're here to focus on is, of course, the colours. And straight away, we can see the general feeling No Man's Sky was going for back when it first released. The strong saturation and orange tint to this planet was what makes this trailer instantly recognisable. The orange grass mixed with the big orange diplo and lightly green tinted skies was a colour scheme that was not only visually appealing, but also made logical sense in a planetary environment. Environment. This planet had a consistent art style where the environment of the landscapes fitted with the animals and biome of the planet. We can see how things like animals blended in with the colours of this planet. They weren't bright purple or fucking blue. They were near enough the same tone as the rest of the planet. And generally speaking, this made sense. In a real world scenario, plants and animals would have the same sort of look in terms of colour. Evolution and the whole survival of the fittest theory means that animals will generally adapt to their surroundings for a better chance of survival. I don't have to explain this since this is like GCSE science, even though I did uh, fail it. <laughs> but there was an element of consistency that on one hand agreed with the natural laws on our own planet, but then also completely contrasted them. Because where on earth would we see green skies and green water? It's not necessarily impossible, but it's not likely or what we would usually associate with earth. Ultimately, this is what we now lack in terms of colour, a truly alien colour scheme that we are likely to never witness in reality. And you'll find that a lot of trailers had this general vibe to them where the colours weren't completely illogical, but they definitely held an independence from reality. I think the best visual example of this old style was the 18 minute gameplay demo released before No Man's Sky dropped for the public. In this video, Sean talks to an IGN interviewer through a planet that, in my opinion, has the perfect visual representation of this old colour palette. You can see immediately that there's this focus on high contrast contrast bright colours like light greens and shiny reds. The game's art style at this point in time almost looks cartoonish. It's soft and it's welcoming and it's not entirely grounded in reality. It's clear that this footage is from an alien world and isn't overly inspired by our planet's colour palette. Things appeared sharper and more in your face. Colours contrasted so much more and the landscape sort of popped. A distant mountain would clash with a bright blue haze of water, making landmarks easier to locate, but also creating a strong feeling of diversity. As in, that doesn't have the same colour, it must mean there's something unique over there to discover. And this can be applied to all pre-release footage up until release day, where colours were definitely toned down, but not to the extent that they are now. In terms of recent No Man's Sky patches, 
all the way up until I would say 1.3 or maybe even 1.2 this alien and playful look remained although as I said this was hugely toned down since 1.2 vanilla no man's sky and even 1.1 to some extent still had that sharp almost edgy and jarring look to it but not in a bad way by any means it almost had like a look at me I'm an indie game kind of feel to it because the graphics weren't necessarily bad but they had this kind of rugged and uh, almost unprofessional amateur look to them which in a way had this kind of character it wasn't like a triple a red dead redemption 2 you know spicy graphics and all of that but it wasn't unpleasant to look at in fact still to this day many people still play 1.0 no man's sky just for that original intended art style back when hello games weren't necessarily as big as they were today but with the release of I would like to say 1.3 or again maybe 1.2 the colors and overall feel of the game was drastically changed take this side by side example yes it's a different biome I know that but look at how different the game looks the textures and anti-aliasing from 1.3 are miles better than pre-release that goes without saying but where the shit are those alien colors it's it's too grounded it's too dull it's too fucking realistic and more recently with the introduction of the next update that feeling of no man's sky was completely changed yes colors were brought back to some extent but the variety and the algorithm must have been massively changed because the extent of what can be out of this world has been massively narrowed and downgraded many people have pointed out that water in next is mostly always blue on lush planets what happened to red or yellow water like we saw in that 2014 gameplay trailer even the red leaves on trees look washed out and dirty they don't pop in the slightest like they used to in old gameplay footage likewise where have different colored skies or grass disappeared to i can't recall the last time i saw a purple sky or yellow grass it just doesn't happen as much as it used to now you can argue that this is just me being special and oh you haven't played enough of the game to see this but many people agree that the rules with what can be generated has been tightened significantly most of us agreed that recent updates have tried to make no man's sky slightly more real in terms of its colors there are no longer super bright palettes and crazy combinations this is an issue with modern no man's sky as a whole where hello games seems to be holding back on the potential of procedural generation this used to be the case with things like terrain and flora where we never got to see huge mountains deep caves or massive trees massive animals although that aspect has definitely been fixed it still feels like hello games could let loose so much more but for whatever reason they decide not to hopefully this gives you an idea of how the game's art style and general direction has changed over the years and no this isn't necessarily a bad thing many games have done this in the past this isn't something that's completely new but there is a reason why a lot of people at the moment are wanting this old feel of no man's sky back and in my opinion the biggest reason why we need this color scheme back and i've said this many times already is the fact that it feels alien something about landing on a planet and constantly seeing blue skies with green grass and blue water doesn't feel different it doesn't feel weird enough it really doesn't feel like this is just one crazy ass planet in the midst of the entire galaxy because we've seen this already in fact i can go outside and see orange leaves right now because it's fucking awesome the point of playing a game solely based on exploring an alien galaxy you know completely out of the realms of our own existence is to experience sites we can't physically get on planet earth there is absolutely zero point in exploring a galaxy that shares the same timid rules and colors 
of reality. That's just a complete waste of potential and ultimately makes a game about alien worlds futile. It's a massive missed opportunity. But this isn't the only reason, because a big part of this old colour scheme was to make you feel out of place. Seeing colour combinations that don't really make logical sense, like bright yellow leaves or purple skies, enforces that feeling that you're out of your comfort zone. You're not at home where you expect the sky to be blue every day when you wake up in the morning. Anything can be out there in this galaxy and you're going to have to adapt to it whether you like it or not. It's kind of like starting your first day at secondary school where you walk into this big ass building, there's a load of sweaty bearded year 11s and you're completely out of your comfort zone but you just have to get used to it. You have to adapt and find where your little double science classroom is. But that kind of feeling of not being in familiar territory is exciting in a weird sort of way. And of course, you can bring up the classic argument that this pre-release aesthetic and the colours popping and all of that contrast simply looks better. And yes, it does. You go back and you look at screenshots of pre-release or even screenshots of 1.0 back when everything was basic as shit and the textures looked like ass. But you got some really damn good views. Some proper alien, really kind of out of this world feeling planets that you just just don't get any more. I'm not trying to say that Next or 1.7 or 1.3 downgraded No Man's Sky. In terms of gameplay, it most definitely did upgrade the whole experience, but we did seem to lose a little bit of craziness, you know, a little bit of alienation, and we simply don't have that anymore to the extent that we used to have, say, a year ago. So, in an ideal world, Hello Games, if you're listening, I pray to God that you are, bring back that old colour scheme, but keep the variety, the generation, and most importantly, the quality of textures in the game. Imagine playing 1.7, the current build of No Man's Sky, with terrain tessellation, a new cloud rendering tech, but with that pre-release aesthetic, with those colours that popped, with those crazy ass combinations, that is honestly a dream. And please, for the love of God, Sean, I know you're fucking listening here, consider it okay or even better just just bring it back maybe 2.0 can be a nostalgia update and it takes everything back to that crazy ass feeling we had when we played 1.0 but ultimately at the end of the day there are many reasons for why this old color scheme should come back but that is only my opinion so as always guys i want to know your opinions on if you think this old color scheme should return and how best hello games could do it but that is just about all i have to say for for this video so i just want to really quickly say thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you guys enjoyed it then please do feel free to leave a like on it and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then i'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skin boot signing out